Hey guys, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today we're making lasagna soup. It's all the flavors of lasagna without all the work. The delicious flavors packed into a simple crock pot soup. You can get the full recipe in the link in the descriptions. <music> So today we're going to make lasagna soup. Lasagna soup is one of my all-time favorites. I personally love lasagna, but I hate all the work of lasagna. Give me a heart if you know what I'm talking about. Lasagna is exhausting to make. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the amazing flavors of lasagna and we're putting it in a soup without all the work but you still get all the flavors. So make sure you watch the full video because we're gonna talk about how to make it taste lasagna when you put it in your bowl, okay? Let's get going. Back to my soup, it's lasagna soup, it's super easy. It's gonna taste like lasagna without doing all the work, okay? <laughs> Pat, that's a horrible news. Okay, so what I started off with was one pound of ground beef that I've already browned before we hopped on the video because that's really boring to watch, right? Everybody knows how to brown ground beef. Technically on this recipe, you do not have to, um... Lois, sorry about that. It's just an automatic. Okay, but you, you do not have to brown the recipe if you have a very low fat um, ground beef. Now on our ground beef lately, we've been getting a lot of excess water. So I wanted to brown it first and drain it to get any extra water out of it that I don't want in my soup, right? Shania, the Sooners did not win. They, it was really bad. <laughs> okay, so back to the soup. So I have the meat already browned in there. Now we're going to add a half a cup of onion. I mean, it's not half a cup, a half an onion chopped. That I already threw it, that I already chopped, so I didn't, you know, cry. We need a bell pepper. Got to take that off. Oh my goodness. That I'm going to dice up. You can completely eliminate that if you do not want a bell pepper, but I love the flavors of vegetables in my lasagna soup. Other vegetables that you could throw in would be like some shredded carrots, shredded um, zucchini. There's so many options that you can sneak veggies into the soup without anybody knowing. Now, if you like your lasagna with sausage, you could do sausage instead of ground beef as well. If you want the fat content to be a little bit lower, go ahead and do um, ground turkey. It would be delicious in this as well. If you're going to double this recipe, you could easily do like a half a like one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground turkey or one pound of ground beef and one pound of sausage, which is the way I like it because you get all the extra flavor without all that extra work, um, without like too much fat. You know, that's why I like to do half sausage. There's also a turkey sausage is really, really good. Okay, so I got that chopped up. Remember, if you're wanting the recipes, um, drop the word recipe below and it'll send you the recipe. Let me make sure. Oh, hold on. Sorry for the interruptions. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Making sure I'm doing everything correctly because I'm not used to going live all the time and I'm not used to going live on a Saturday. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I got the bell pepper in there. Then we're going to chop in our seasonings. We need some minced garlic and I love my minced garlic. Now you can take whole garlic and mince them up yourself, but hey, I want to do things with my kids. I don't have time to mince up garlic, so I buy the pre-made mince, but nobody's going to judge you. Don't judge me for using my mince, and I won't judge you for enjoying your fresh garlic, right? We're going to do some Italian seasoning. On the recipe, if you do not have Italian seasoning, we actually have how to make your own homemade Italian seasoning on eating on a dime. So if this is something you can't find in your area because I know some people that follow me in other countries have struggles finding this. We do have a how-to on eatingonadime.com. We have an amazing search feature on our website. So if you're ever looking for something and you can't find it, if you just click on the search button at the top of the website 
a window will open up and type in what you're looking for. It's amazing. It works so good. And I highly recommend because maybe you want to try a different lasagna recipe. Just type in the word lasagna and all our lasagna recipes are going to come up for you. Oh, and stay tuned at the end of the video because I'm also going to talk about how to make this gluten-free. Just because you're gluten-free doesn't mean you can't enjoy lasagna soup, right? Okay, so now we're going to throw in our canned tomatoes. We're going to need crushed tomatoes. The recipe calls for the giant 28 ounces, but I didn't have that, so I'm doing two cans. So it's a little bit more. And then one can of diced tomatoes. So we're going to get the smoothness of the crushed tomatoes, and then we're going to get a little bit of diciness in there to jazz up the soup. The, um, the soup. So basically, we're kind of making a homemade marinara like you would in a lasagna sauce. If you wanted to be really lazy, you could eliminate these and throw in probably two jars of a marinara or a spaghetti sauce. Um, but again, eating on a dime, we like to save time, but we love to save money as well. And this is just as good. And canned tomatoes are a lot cheaper than buying spaghetti sauce pre-made. And that's basically what we're doing with the Italian seasoning, the minced garlic, the onions, the bell peppers. We're basically throwing together a homemade spaghetti sauce and saving a ton of money. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we're throwing this in. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're almost done, guys. This is how easy this recipe is, right? And it's so good. You got to go to the recipe and see the final pictures. Like, you're going to be like, what? And when you make it and it tastes so good, you're like, I can't believe that I made this and it took so little time. Then I'm going to need about four cups of beef broth. I didn't add any salt or anything like that to this because beef broth and tomatoes have a lot more salt content than what you'd think. So I like to wait until the soup is done and decide how much salt I want to add to my soup. I'm going to do a quick stir and that's it guys. Okay. So I'm going to cook this. Hold on. You want high for three to four hours or low for six to eight hours. But here's the trick. Okay. We're just cooking that. And then about 30 to 45 minutes before you're ready to eat. The lasagna noodles go in, okay? So what you're going to do, what can this is what kind of fancy opener? This is not a fancy opener. It's OXO. Um, you can get these at like Walmart, Target, and Amazon. Very inexpensive, but I like it because my other one broke. And my sister has had hers for like 12 years. So I got it. Alexa, no. Alexa's talking to me. Thank you. Okay, so here's the best part with the noodles. So what you're going to do is you're going to just take your noodles and break them up into chunks, okay? You can even do one more if you want to. So you're going to have real lasagna noodles in your lasagna soup. You do not want them to do whole noodles because this is a soup and you want it to fit on your spoon. So when you're breaking apart and get the kids involved, this is what you're going to do. Normally, I would just break it over here, but it's not ready to do that yet, okay? Now, let's talk about gluten-free. If you need to be gluten-free, gluten-free has, I am actually seeing lasagna noodles right now for gluten-free, but if you cannot find that, any gluten-free pasta will work. I tend to go more towards a gluten-free, like, rotini pasta that has the curly cues. So that way it still gives that, um, the curliness that a lasagna noodle will do versus like a penne or a macaroni. Um, plus it's going to soak up that sauce and hold on to it really, really good. Okay. So now you're like, Carrie, if I add the noodles to this, it's basically spaghetti. It's not lasagna, right? What do you need in a lasagna? Cheese, right? Okay. So. What you need for your lasagna to make it cheesy and delicious. So in a lasagna, there's ricotta cheese or cottage cheese, you pick. But then there's also mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese. So I'm going, I have some grated Parmesan cheese and I'm going to hand shred some mozzarella cheese. So when you serve this, you're going to spoon this in a bowl. 
you're going to scoop one scoop full of ricotta cheese in the middle of your bowl. You're going to top it with shredded mozzarella and a little bit of parm. And sometimes I like to sprinkle garlic salt on top. I don't know why, it's just so good. And then you spoon it in and every bite tastes like lasagna. And the best part is if you have kids who don't even really like lasagna, they don't have to put this in there. So you get your delicious lasagna flavors and no complaining from the kids. They can just top it with their mozzarella cheese. Serve it with garlic bread or breadsticks and dinner's done. Tell me this isn't easy. Also, we have an Instant Pot recipe if you wanna be able to make this in your Instant Pot. It's super easy to make. Just go to eatingonadime.com and type in Instant Pot lasagna soup and you'll see how simple that is to make. Oh my gosh, wasn't this so fun? It doesn't take a lot of work. Okay, let me see if I miss any questions. Sounds delicious. It is. Okay. Let's see if we have any questions I miss. Looks easy and delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me check comments and see if there's any questions I missed. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Joe. If you want the recipe, just drop the word recipe below. You're not getting my recipes. Jenna. Shania, you spoke too soon. If you're not getting our recipes, go to eatingonadime.com. There will be a pop-up for the 31 days for Crock-Pot recipes. Type in your name and email. Make sure your email is correct, okay? Can you use zucchini instead of noodles? Great question, Tracy. Yes, zucchini. I would do probably the zucchini noodles um, just because it's more fun. But those are only going to take about five minutes to cook in your crock pot. So you're not going to need the full amount of time like you would an actual pasta. Who's ready to make this? Let me know. Okay, so Rebecca talks about she doesn't really care for soup. Um, I have a lot of people in my family that didn't really care for soup. But this is different. It's not really soupy. It's more like a chili it's a very thick soup. Like right now, it's going to look very thin. But when you toss in these noodles, because remember, you do not have to cook these. Okay? You don't have to cook these over there um, on the stove top. They cook inside the crock pot. No matter what crock pot you're using, okay? But that's what makes it so good. So these are going to soak up the moisture. So it's almost like a sloppy lasagna. And you serve it in a bowl. Mandy, you need to come over and eat. Okay. I'm out of here, friends. Oh, my dogs. Samson, come here, baby. Samson, 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 I'm on a video. Okay, I'm out of here, friends. Remember, drop the word recipe below. I will send you the full recipe. Toby, stop. Toby, Toby, Toby. I'm on a video. You're being rude. Yeah, you, you're being rude. Okay. I gotta go. My dog said I have to go. So you guys have a fabulous Saturday. Go make real life. Toby, come here, baby. Toby, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Okay, hurry before the dogs bark again. You guys have a fabulous Saturday. Go make you some amazing crock pot food. Don't forget to get our 31 days of crock pot recipes. Just drop the word a recipe below. They're completely for free um, and they're completely made for loud, busy families like mine. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our family friendly recipes. You can grab the full uh, recipe in the link in the description as well as how to sign up to get our free 31 days of crock pot recipes. I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye friends. Thank you.